Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your January 16th to the 31st, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, it helps me out tremendously. And I thank you all so very much for doing so. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Hangman. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. And we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so this is an interesting time. I like this actually a lot. I like that we have the Hangman. We're seeing things so differently than the way that we've seen them before. And yet we're really... We're going to call ourselves a little bit of a traditionalist during this time, which is kind of sweet. I see us really moving towards like moving towards memories that were really beautiful for us, like really connective and really grounding and really just like, oh, well, this helped shape me. So we're going to be really embracing that, the energy of the heart and the soul. And it's not like we're going to be traditionalists and they're like it has to be done like this. And we're going to be super rigid about things, but it's more like, but this brought me joy and I'm going to be following that joy. I'm going to be moving forward in that joy. And so we're going to be seeing things differently now because we're moving forward with that sense of heart really guiding us. With the seven of pentacles, we're being very we're being very practical about things we're going to be planting seeds we're going to be looking at things we're going to have a practicality to us that is is nice it's very down to earth there is just a sense of like barefoot to the ground type of thing like being very down to earth being very connected connecting with the earth is going to be very important to us which i mean it can be a little bit hard right if it's super cold outside you might not want to be outside all the time and i totally get that but just this connection with the earth and connection with sunlight and connection with like how am i planting my seeds how do i want things to grow and we can even be looking at things right now, like at the end of January, it's like, okay, what do I want to grow for the spring? And I could be thinking of a garden. I do see somebody like kind of like drawing up plants for their garden, but I do also see people like, and even just like flower pots, right? It doesn't have to be something massively big. I, but I also see us as like, where do I want to be come June? Like, where do I want to be come next year? You know, what, what do I want? And we're planting seeds. And that's very important to us during this time. With the 10 of swords, we have been a little bit battered and bruised during this time. The 10 of swords is my minor arcana death card, right? It's the dying away of the old self. It's the rebirth of the new. And we're going to see ourselves really being transformed. A lot of the words, a lot of the things that have held us back or that have made us think, oh, it could only be like this or it could only be like that. Or they said that to try and really, you know, beat me down. We're going to see ourselves rising. We're going to see ourselves rising in a way that it's actually going to kind of surprise us. Now with the eight of pentacles, we might not be really into work during this time, not really as detail oriented as maybe we want to be. So just be mindful about this, or we can be looking at things and saying, it's not the money, you know, it's not the money. And I know we have bills to pay and mouths to feed, right? I totally get that. But there's going to be something here where it's like, it's not about the money, it's about something more. And that's going to be really important. And that can be also really important for us during this time where it's not about the money, it's about something more. And we're connecting with that something more. We're, we're planting our seeds towards that something more. We're looking towards that something more. And what that something more is, is that connection with us, is that sense of us seeing ourselves. And that's going to be a really big thing for us. Okay, so let's see what Spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a snowflake in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on the 1st of February in a completely separate video. So keep your eyes open for that. All the instructions will be in that video. And don't be scammed by anybody contacting you in the comment box. It will not be me. And if you're interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. So let's see what Spirit has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading this is mystical this is going to be a time yeah that's really mystical for us we're going to need also not going to need but we're really going to want to be aligned with the mystical we're going to want to kind of have more meaning more understanding more i'm just hearing harmony with things and it's like being in harmony it's like it's almost like we're hearing the song of the earth, whether it be the gentle song of winter or the more vibrant song of summer. And we're needing to connect with that mystical energy, with that powerful energy that's moving us forward. And that's just going to be really important for us. It's going to be really, um, it's going to be really beautiful. It's going to be really calming. I just see this as a very calm time. Like 
you know, if we're not calm, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be moving towards that calmness, towards that center. Let's see what our chakra energy is. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is communication reversed. Okay. So we are picking up on a lot of things, but nothing is coming to us really coherently during this time. So we can kind of almost feel like the radio station is on static. So just be mindful about that during this time because it can be irritating to us. Embracing communication, saying, how am I communicating with myself? Am I communicating what I want? How am I communicating with the energy around me, the people around me, what I'm desiring, how I'm moving forward? That is going to be really important for us during this time. So that communication is going to be difficult. And we definitely see this astrologically with the 16th of January. But we we are going to have to really connect and embrace the third chakra during this time to embrace our communication. So humming, singing, you know, however you embrace the, the throat chakra, that's going to be so important. And that's really going to help us to move forward. So let's see what energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels and spirit guides. This is a two of swords. Okay, so we have a very clear distinction about things and a clear understanding about things during this time. So do be aware of this. We're going to say it's A or it's B or, you know, it's black or it's white, nothing in between, right? So just be mindful about this. We're going to be like, okay, black ink or white paper. That's it. That's all we have. And spirit is saying, no, there's a multitude, right? We're, we're going to need more depth than that. So we're going to be very rigid with the way that we're seeing things. We're also going to be a little bit hesitant to kind of cut things away or to say, you know what, that doesn't work for me anymore. That doesn't fit. So just be mindful about this during this time that there's just a level or a sense of rigidity that we don't really need and we don't really want. Okay. So with the six of, of cups, we do have the past coming in. So I see it as really beautiful. I see it as being very inspiring. Now it's kind of like we're connecting with what really what resonates with us and we're leaving behind the ugliness. So this isn't a time where like we're, we're sitting there and we're, we're stewing in everything, but it's very much a sense of I'm going to really hold dear to me the beautiful things that raise me up, the beautiful memories that guide me forward. And that's going to be really important. So just know that about this time. On the 16th of January, we have the moon in Aries squared Mercury in Capricorn. This is a difficult time for communication. It just is for everybody. So just note that that throat chakra you know, energy being reversed. We just need to be mindful about it during this time. It can be a time where we stumble over our words, where we find it difficult to communicate openly. We we need to think before we speak. Everybody does and nobody's going to. So just be mindful about this. We can have people say some hurtful things or some some biting things, some sharp things that, you know, just don't need to be done. So just be aware of this during this time. This is a time where we need to listen. If we listen on this day, if we kind of like, you know, step out of our egos and listen, that is going to be so beneficial to us. On the 17th of January, we have the moon in Aries, trine Venus in Sagittarius. This brings stability and security into our lives. We feel much more confident. We feel much more secure. We're grounded and we're much more present within ourselves. So that's going to be a really good thing. We're really planting those seeds. Really, you know, I just see us like with hands in the garden type of thing, that connection with the earth. But for us, Pisces, it's a sense of grounding ourselves. You know, we are water sign energy, right? But it's that sense of that lush, rich soil, you know, sinking our hands into it is going to be really important. On the 18th of January, we have Mercury in Capricorn, sextile Saturn in Pisces. This is a time of mental discipline. We really are quite disciplined. We have plans, we're gathering information, we're moving towards our goals. Again, we're planting those seeds. We're also going to be using the past as a way to move us forward. We're focused and we are practical. So that's going to be a good thing. But just don't think, because we can have a tendency during this time to think, oh, I already know, because this happened once upon a time. It's like we are in a different time. We're not in once upon a time. So just be aware of that. I know you know it, but it does bear to be reminded. You, we do bear to be reminded during this time because Spirit's saying, you know, we can tend to think, oh, I already know all of this. And Spirit's like, it's still a new time. On the 19th of January, we have two things happening. So we have Mercury in Capricorn, trying Jupiter in Taurus. We have an optimistic outlook on things. We're looking at the bigger picture. We're outgoing in our communication, in our way of talking to people. 
we have big ideas and we're very positive. We're, we're looking at the bigger picture of things. We're thinking big. We're not afraid to kind of push the boundaries of things. We also have Venus in Sagittarius squared Neptune in Pisces. Our empathy and compassion is huge during this time. But we have to be mindful because this can lead us to be vulnerable and to be deceived by others who are of a lower energy vibration during this time that want to take advantage. So have healthy boundaries. Make sure you have healthy boundaries in your relationships and be gentle with yourself and the world around you. On the 20th of January, we have the sun entering into Aquarius. Now, Aquarius season is a time to embrace making a difference in our lives. Like what makes us different? Also, yeah, embracing what makes us different, different in our lives. But I do see it also making a difference in our lives. It's like, how am I going to change this? How am I moving things forward for me? We're more independent. We're stepping out of our comfort zone. We're becoming more focused on the future, but we're changing our focus on the future. It's almost like, okay, you know what? I have to, I have to reevaluate. I have to relook at things as I move forward. And there's very much a sense of having a new way of seeing our lives, ourselves, and where it is that we want to be. Also on the 20th of January, we have Pluto entering into Aquarius. Now, Pluto comes back into Aquarius, and this is really a time to focus on change and transformation in our lives, to take control of our future and move towards being innovative and, and unconventional, like really sitting there and saying, okay, what do I want? How am I moving forward? Where do I need to be for me? And that's going to be a pretty th big thing for us during this time. Now, what's also really important here is that we also have the sun in Capricorn conjunct Mercury in Capricorn, and this is for everybody. We're going to see something that happened about six to eight weeks ago, really starting to come to a head now. And that's going to have us, as we see those results, it's going to give us ideas for what we're going to do next, like how we're going to move forward. So that's going to be really, really interesting. It's going to have us, you know, really embracing the hangman seeing things differently it's going to have us planting seeds like oh okay well what about this and what about that and what about this idea and it brings us with the ten of swords to this place of oh that's why that happened okay that's why that happened had to happen and that's going to be a big thing on the 22nd of january we have gemini opposite venus and sagittarius no we have the moon in gemini opposite venus and sagittarius a lazy day just write it off as a lazy day if you can take the day off if you kind of put your feet up do so if you can't just know that today people move slower you're going to move slower so just be aware of this on the 23rd of january we have venus entering entering into capricorn now this is interesting because venus is the planet of love and pleasure and pla and capricorn is the planet of you know getting things down in order and top down structure so we're really going to find that we enjoy being ambitious and being focused and being goal oriented and making progress and we could think with the eight of pentacles reversed that we don't but it's like we're sitting here looking at things and we're looking at a bigger picture right now we're not looking at maybe you know, what is our job right now? Or, you know, how I have to do X, Y, Z. We're looking at a bigger picture of what we want to create. Now, this doesn't mean we kind of have our head in the clouds type of thing and we're letting things go. No, it just means that we're going to be focusing on the progress and the ambition and the focus of what I'm building for where I want to be. And that's going to be more of our focus now than where we are right now. So do be mindful because we can let certain things slide and, and we don't want to become lazy or, you know, get reprimanded at work for anything. So just be mindful about that here as well. When it comes to love on um, with Venus entering into Capricorn, we're going to be much more conventional. We're going to be much more committed. So just know that also about love during this time. On the 24th of January, we have the moon in Cancer, Trine, Neptune in Pisces. We like to help people out. We really do. It makes us feel good. We're supportive and we're understanding. And that's just going to be something where we're going to see like, it's very much like the golden rule, do unto others as you'd have done unto you. That's going to be the energy that really moves us forward during this time. And there's going to be a sense of, oh, well, this person helped me out or this person did this. And that's going to be a really nice thing. It's like you're, you're passing on the good luck. On the 25th of January, we have the moon in Leo squared Jupiter in Taurus. This is another day that we could mark on our calendar as a lazy day where we take a break, slow things down. It's going to be really important. We're really good at slowing things down and kind of like counting our seats, like counting up or, or, or measuring out or balancing out everything that needs to be done. So that's, that's really good. And also this is going to be a day where on the lazy days where it's kind of like, okay, how am I stepping into me? How am I moving me forward? You know, am, am I 
checking in with myself. Okay. Like, am I, am I doing okay? Am I, am I being kind to myself? You know, that type of thing is going to be important for us, Pisces. We also have Leo. We also have the Leo full moon on the 25th of January, which there will be a completely separate video on. On the 26th of January, we have the moon in Leo squared Uranus in Taurus. This is a bit of restless energy. Everybody's going to feel this. We aren't exactly sure why. We are a bit agitated. We want to get to the heart of this issue and work on what it is that will make us you know, feel better, what we, it is that will have us moving forward more in alignment with ourselves. And this is going to be a time where we're really looking at, okay, where's my happiness? Like, where's my joy? It doesn't mean that we have to be happy every moment of every day. That's not what following your bliss means. What following your bliss means is that you are aligned with joy, where it's not just like soul sucking every single day. And so here, there is going to be the sense of, I just keep on seeing putting fingers into the earth and growing up flowers. Like there's just a sense of really planting things forward to bring forward beauty and serenity and and connection. And that's going to be a really powerful thing. I'm seeing little like, I want to say periwinkle flowers. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but they're very little periwinkle flowers. So if that means something to you, let me know in the comment box. On the 27th of January, we have the sun in Aquarius squared Jupiter in Taurus. This is a feel good day. This is a really good day. Mark it on your calendar. All right. But note, <laughs> of course, we can be a little bit lazy on this day. It's not because it's not a good day. We have many good things happening on the 27th that we will get to astrologically speaking. But with the sun in Aquarius squared Jupiter in Taurus, this is a little bit of the tortoise in the hair parable and Aesop's fable type of energy going on here. It's when the, the hare is told he's going to run a race against a tortoise and he's like, oh my gosh, I got this. I can totally beat a tortoise in my sleep. And a hare can, right? A rabbit is faster than a tortoise. And what we're going to see is that this is a day where we think, okay, I got everything settled. Like I can totally get all of this done. We can run the race. We run it back and then we take a nap. You know, I'll, I'll win when I give the guy a bit more of a head start but we can forget to wake up just like the hare did. And he was asleep as the tortoise won the race. And so this is going to be a time for us where we need to keep that momentum going. We also have Mercury in Capricorn conjunct Mars in Capricorn during this day or on the 27th. Our mind is active. We have plenty of new ideas and plans. We're enthusiastic. We are jumping at a chance to take action. So again, this isn't a day that we want to kind of like, you know, sit by and, and let ourselves rest. Uranus is going direct in Taurus also on the 27th. So it's this end of this time for the last couple of months where we really felt like there's been no change. We felt like we're slogging through things. We're going to start seeing ourselves take action, being more creative, changing in a direction that we really want and embracing change in a direction that we really want. On the 28th of January, we have Venus in Capricorn, sextile Saturn in Pisces. We take pleasure in focusing on our goals. We really, really do. We're going to be much more connected with what we want. We're going to make connections with other people. We're looking at things differently and we're, we're kind of excited to share these different ideas and hear different ideas from others. We're more responsible and we are more focused. With Mercury, Mercury on the 28th of of January is in Capricorn, trying Uranus in Taurus. We are unconventional in our ideas. We're thinking outside of the box. Oh, excuse me. I do apologize. We are opening up our minds, opening up the door to to new, like to, to almost experiments. I mean, I'm just seeing like the, the, like pouring potions into each other. So if you're doing anything where it's like tinkering or, or, or like mixing things together, this is a really great day for it for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but that's kind of exciting. We are, you know, it doesn't mean to do anything dangerous. I don't want you to think so, but it's just like, you know, if you're interested in mis mixing, you know, essence oils or something like that, that's what I'm saying. Do, be safe, guys. So here, we're just excited. We're excited to open up new doors. We're excited to see things like moving forward. We're also excited to see a change within ourselves, like moving forward in a direction that we, we hadn't imagined. Now, Venus is in Capricorn, trying Jupiter in Taurus on the 28th of January, and luck is on our side. So that is really cool. Luck is on our side. We really feel good about everything that we're doing. We really feel like, oh, okay, I got this. You know, we're open to new opportunities. We're seeing ourselves. We're moving ourselves forward. And that is a really great thing. 
On the 29th of January, we have Mars in Capricorn, Trine, Uranus, and Taurus. There is, you know, this energy and this enthusiasm that we're taking advantage of. We have this strong sense of change, and we're really taking the initiative. We're thinking outside of the box, and we we want to do things differently. We just want to be a little bit unusual, like just a little bit different. Go against the norm on this day. That's going to be really fun. Now, the 30th of January and the 31st of January, these are a little bit of a slog. So <laughs> do be mindful about this. The moon on the 30th, the moon is in Libra squared Venus in Capricorn. And we we just don't want to deal with other people on this day. We're, we're not going to be real big people people. And that's, that's going to be interesting because nobody is <laughs> on this day. We're all like, yeah, okay, fine. You know, whatever. So give ourselves a break. Give everybody else a break. Astrologically speaking, we're just a bit annoyed and we can we can find people to be a bit annoying. So just just be aware of this. On the 31st of of January, we have the moon in Libra squared Mars and Capricorn. And okay, on the 30th and on the 31st, this can be this can be kind of exasperated because we're kind of exasperated with people at work. You know, we we just kind of are. We we aren't really into, you know, the details like we usually are. So on the 31st of January, we have the moon in Libra squared Mars in Capricorn, irritable energy. Seriously, we're just irritated. We're easy to snap at others. We try to get to the root of the problem. And, and there's just going to be a sense of like, it's almost like we want a really good fight. We're going to try again to the root of the problem. And either we want a really good fight with ourselves or we want a really good fight with somebody else. And that's just not going to be helpful any way around. So don't in engage in that really good fight energy that we have going on here. Know that we're just a bit irritated and kind of remove ourselves from the situation. Look at things differently, but also just going like in touching stone with with the past or like really beautiful memories or things that just bring us happiness. It's like, okay, this is where I, what I need to like connect with. This is my happy place on this day. So just know that that's going to be really good for us. Our subconscious spirit message here is relax, reverse. <laughs> and so with relax, reverse, spirit is like, hey, listen, we're not relaxing. We have to relax, calm it down, center ourselves. That's going to be really, really, really important. Just relaxing, calming it down. That's going to be really good. It's going to be something that's hard for us to do. Don't be surprised if we don't get a couple of relaxed reminders if we have like a smartwatch on or a fit ring or whatever they're called. So just be, be aware of this. We need to just relax and calm down. That's going to be really helpful. Our subconscious chakra message is divine wisdom. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. We are being blessed with divine wisdom. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding is really coming forward for us. And that's that's a beautiful thing. And that's a powerful thing that we should take advantage of. We're just going to have a lot of wisdom guiding us. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the two of pentacles. We're balancing too much. We're kind of taking on too much. And we just need to be mindful that we're going to let some things drop. Like we have to really say, okay, what's important? What's important here? And somebody's going to try and make us feel guilty. Like, oh, this should be important or that should be important. And spirit's like, no, just balance yourself. What's important here? What do you need to be important? Like, what do you need to ground you? Our subconscious tarot message is the queen of wands reverse. This is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, subconsciously we're not connecting with our magic and that can make us very irritable. Like we were told here, connect with the mystical. That's going to be so important. Let yourself shine. It doesn't have to be the biggest. It doesn't have to be the boldest. It doesn't have to be like, you know, the best of the best or the baddest of the bad. You know, it just has to be you. And spirit is saying, let yourself just be you, shine in being you, embrace that energy because we're going to think it has to be big. Like it's like go big or go home. And spirit's like, why not just show up and be happy? That, that's powerful. Most people aren't. So you'll stand out in the crowd. So here with the, with the Queen of Wands reversed, it's like, okay, what are, why aren't we embracing our magic? What aren't we seeing that is our spark, our, our connection, our passion? And how do we connect with that? All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath. Oh, and before 
I say, take a nice deep breath in. Just note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So now take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Pisces, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.